may, this may be an urban legend, but <laughs> I heard. Oh boy, we're starting off with that. <laughs> huh? I, I heard that uh, once you were at, I guess it was some kind of a major national youth conference, and you were speaking that day, and when you stepped up on the podium, you essentially read the Sermon on the Mount and then took your seat. Yeah, it's sort of the old, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> so you, you yeah. did that. Yeah, and, and it was one of those conferences that's just led by fantastic people, but has a tendency maybe to have just a little too much clutter and, and noise and, and um, Christian stuff, you mm-hmm. know? So the, the simplicity of the words of Jesus are um, sometimes, I think, best just left on their own. And, I, and I, as I prepared and prayed for that gathering, I just felt deeply uh, moved by the Spirit to, to leave the words uh, and let them say what they, what they want. I got to admit, I, I sort of stole the idea from, I think it was the Dalai Lama at one point, um, was speaking at a big Ivy League convocation. And, uh, you know, everybody had come from everywhere to hear him speak. And he just uh, stood up and held a flower for a half hour. Wow. And sat down. Now, I'm not the Dalai Lama, you know, but, <laughs> but, but I think like part of what's so pure it's and a beautiful prophetic in, act. in Jesus' words are just uh, that we, we, don't, we don't always need to add a ton to them. Yeah, I mean, that, that created an unforgettable encounter with the sermon. Best sermon I ever preached, you know. The, Funny thing is, nobody bought a lot of the tapes, you know. <laughs> but right. yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, pure words. And as I've read that, uh, one of my practices has just been to read it out loud so my mm. ears hear it. And yeah. it takes about 18 minutes. You think about that, only 20 minutes, and there is the wisdom of the ages right there. Yeah, and, and, and I think that what, what's so sad is how far we've come from those words, you know, and we, we write all kinds of other books and have all, all, you know, well, we need to make it relevant, you know, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we, we tend to keep adding clutter to it and, and we lose the, the real essence of the, the, the pearl that we've left everything to, to run after, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and, and as I, uh, I, I remember a great line that Gandhi had where he said, uh, they, they asked him if he was a Christian, and he said, oh, I, I love Jesus. I just wish the Christians took him more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I think that, that's a lot of where I've gone is gone, well, well man, the more I read the words of Jesus, the, 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 the more I could, couldn't help but ask, does anybody really believe this? Yeah. You know, like, like what would the world look like if we really asked ourselves, what if Jesus meant the things he said? You know, what if he meant we're to love our enemies? Mm-hmm. What if he meant we're to live like the lilies and the sparrows? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? and, and today, boy, those words just couldn't be more relevant or pertinent or beautiful, you know, in the light of the patterns of Wall Street, you know, and this message that if what good is it if you gain the whole world and lose your soul mm-hmm. you know the stories that jesus tells of the man who I, uh, I was reading this morning the story of the guy who's got so much stuff stored up in barns he just can't keep it all so he's like well i guess i'll tear them all down and build a bigger barn and i'll just sit back and eat drink and live good you know mm-hmm. and god says you fool you don't even know what tomorrow holds <laughs> you yeah. know? tomorrow you will die and what will happen to all your stuff mm-hmm. And uh, boy, like that's what we need to preach on Wall Street, you know. <laughs> like consider the lilies and the sparrows; they're not worried about their four hundred one k's. You know, God's going to take care of you, yeah. and that's an incredible and simple truth. Do not worry yeah. about your life. Yeah, He says so plainly there. Even you know Solomon and all of his splendor is shamed by the simplicity of the leaves changing here and the lilies and the sparrows that God so beautifully takes care of. Yeah.